Welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. I have found myself in the ASRock booth and we have lots of motherboards to check out. A few AM5, a few, I guess I have to say Arrow Lake because we can't get named the socket, despite probably knowing what the socket's called. Anyway, lots of cool motherboards to check out. I'm very excited by a few of them, but before we get into it. The Harbour Unboxed Computex coverage is brought to you by MSI and Thermal Grizzly. Check out MSI's latest QD OLED gaming monitors, including the Endgame OLED for blazing fast 360Hz gaming at 1440p or 240Hz at 4K for the ultimate gaming and creator setup today. With true to life color calibration that's ready to go right out of the box, VESA Display HDR True Black 400 certification, unbeatable response times, KVM support, a massive array of connectivity ports, and an impressive three year OLED warranty, there's never been a better time to go OLED. Find out more on MSI's new range of QD OLED gaming monitors via the links in the video description. Also, supporting our Computex trip is Thermal Grizzly and their new Cryo Sheet, a high performance graphene thermal pad that contains no liquid and therefore isn't subject to the kind of degradation seen with traditional thermal pastes, such as drying out, for example. It offers outstanding thermal connectivity, simple installation, and extreme longevity. So, for more information, please check the links in the video description. So, the most entry level next generation Intel motherboard that ASRock has on display is the Pro A Wi Fi. So, pretty similar to the entry level naming that we see from MSI. Now, this is an ATX board. As I said, it's the entry level board, but it has some pretty crazy features for an entry level board. First of all, it has a 20 phase v uh, VRM. So, I believe it's 60 amp. They don't specify, but I think it's 60. Uh, 20 amp power stages. So that's pretty crazy. Not sure what that says about next generation power delivery, but surely this board has enough. And there's some decent heat sinks on it as well, so cooling there shouldn't be a problem. Another really interesting thing about these new Z890 motherboards is that all of them have at least two uh, Type C USB ports. This is from the ASRock range, and all of them appear to support Thunderbolt 4, as indicated by the I.O. panel. Uh, ASRock aren't confirming or denying this, but it seems like that's the case. So for those of you that want Thunderbolt 4, pretty cool that you can get that on an entry-level board. Another Z890 motherboard we have is the Tai Chi. Uh, similar deal to the entry-level board with those two USB Type-Cs that are Thunderbolt 4 enabled. But we have some other pretty cool features on this board. First of all, it has 25 power phases for the VRM at 110 amps. So that is absolutely insane power delivery. Of course, Tai Chi is a flagship motherboard, so that makes sense, but very, what I'd have to say is likely going to be an overkill VRM, but we always like to see those. So at the top here, we have a single M.2, and then we have an additional five under this big heat spreader or heat sink. It's probably a heat sink at this point, and then an additional four. So you are getting 10 M.2s in total with this motherboard out of the box. If you simply push this tab across, that'll pop off, and there you go. So there is only four thermal pads here. There's probably going to be five in the final product that you buy. Um, pop that back on, and then it's the same here for the primary M.2. So very neat, very easy to access all of these. Additionally, we also have the new Nova Wi-Fi. That is 25 power stages, again, 110 amps. So just a massive amount of power delivery on this board. Okay, now this is a board I'm very excited about. Unfortunately, it is sort of a prototype pre-production type board at this point in time. So ASRock aren't sure if this will enter mass production. Fingers crossed it does because it is a CAM2 board. So we've seen the CAM2 from MSI. Didn't know that we'd see this from ASRock as well. The difference between uh, the ASRock and MSI implementation that we've seen so far is that this is a next generation motherboard. So it is a Z890 motherboard, whereas the MSI version is LGA 1700 Z790. So yeah, MSI might make uh, a Z890 board, and it looks like ASRock might as well. Heaps of benefits to CAM2 uh, over traditional DIMM slots. Obviously, it's a DDR5 module. Being more compact and close to the socket, you get better things like tracing, or, or shorter traces rather, which allows for higher frequencies. MSI was talking about supporting 8400 DDR5 speeds. Probably going to be a similar thing here. Also easier to cool. Uh, there's no clear mounting around this. As I said, it is a pre-production board, prototype, if you will. But I imagine there'll be some sort of mounting here, standoff, so you can, can put heat sinks. And this board might even end up coming with a heat sink pre-installed for the memory. Now, ideally, I need to be a bit taller for this shot. We do have the Taichi Aqua right at the top. 
And while I said the Tai Chi previously was the flagship board, this is technically a Tai Chi board, but this would be the flagship of the Z890 range, or the Tai Chi Aqua. This thing is absolutely insane. So in total, there are 33 110 amp power stages. I've never seen so much power delivery on a motherboard before. So this is like the godlike of power delivery. Absolutely insane. Uh, some other cool features about this board on the IO panel, it is USB type C only. So there are, well, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten USB type C ports, two of which do support Thunderbolt 4. Uh, and you're probably thinking, so where would I plug in my wireless mouse, keyboard, receiver, and whatever, uh, what other type A connectivity I have? Well, they are including a bracket that'll connect to these ports down here. Uh, and they are, I'm not, they look like they're the USB 2 specification, which I suppose is fine for your, you know, wireless keyboard and mouse. They also tell me they will include a Type-C to Type-A adapter, like USB adapter, so if you want to use something through the high-speed ports, you can do so with that adapter. I haven't seen that, I'm not exactly sure what that looks like and how that'll work, but uh, there'll be something like that included. You're also getting 10 gigabit uh, networking along with 5 gigabit, so pretty much everything you want there, and this one won't have liquid cooling for the CPU, but it will have it for the VRM components as well as the primary M.2, which is pretty important for PCIe 5 drives, keeping them nice and cool. And this board is also integrating the new easy release PCIe functionality there. So you can, if you've got a long graphics card or it's quite wide, you can access that from the top. And this easy release mechanism is on all of the various versions of the Tai Chi motherboard, as well as one of the Nova Wi-Fi boards. But it's not on the full range, most of the higher end boards. And another thing we were getting on the Tai Chi boards is the LED diagnostic. So that's a feature I know a lot of you like to have. I'm also seeing that on the Nova Wi-Fi. So a few of those boards are integrating that. And a board that I really like to see that they're continuing the series for is the Light Series. Now we saw this for the first time last year. The Light Series is very simple. Essentially they're taking the standard Tai Chi motherboard and they're stripping off all the fluff, all the fancy RGB lighting, all the big intricate design heat sinks and you're getting more plain, more simply designed heat sinks and yeah, no RGB effects. So it does reduce costs quite a bit. We've seen that with the B650 Lite, for example. So very cool to see that we'll be continuing that with the new 800 series boards from AMD and Intel. So now we have found the new AM5 motherboards and we'll start with the X870E Tai Chi. So this is another board with a very robust VRM. We have 27 power stages. Again, it's the 110 amp models. So that's going to power, to my knowledge, any AM5 CPU with ease. So that's great to see. Obviously, Tai Chi high-end motherboard, so somewhat to be expected. Some nice RGB effects and that sort of stuff on this particular board. USB 4, of course. It is the E model, so you will be getting two chipsets, so all the extra PCI lanes. It's got dual uh, Gen 5, plenty of expansion on this particular board. And then for those of you who don't want all the RGB lighting, all the fancy heat sinks and bits and bobs all over the board, you're looking for something a bit simpler, but you want all the features of this board, there is the light version with these gray heat sinks here, which honestly I think looks really good. It's a well-equipped board, again, the same VRM, all the same features, just the more simplistic heat sinks and all that RGB lighting's gone. Now we have the X870E Nova Wi-Fi. This board is reduced to a single PCIe 5.0 slot, but you are getting two times 16 slots. So this one looks to be wired for about times four bandwidth. Uh, you are getting the pair of USB uh, 4.0 ports, of course. Bit of a more uh, mid-range board, I would say, for this particular version. Now I'm a big fan of the Pro RS series from ASRock. This is the X870 version, so not the E, just means it's a single chipset, which is perfectly fine really. And this will be a more entry level offering, at least for the X870 range. But you are still getting a 17 power stage VRM. They're 80 amp power stages, so realistically, this is going to power any and all uh, Ryzen 9 processors. Basically, anything you can put in this socket, it'll work just fine. All right, guys, that is going to do it for a look at the ASRock booth this year at Computex 2024. A lot of cool new motherboards. I really do hope that CAM 2 board comes to market, and I wouldn't mind seeing an AM5 version of that as well. So we'll see what ASRock can do on that one. Is Tim in the back being funny? He is in the back being funny. Love that. Thanks, Tim. Camera guy is also laughing. So I guess the joke's on me. Uh, anyway, 
Thank you for watching. Thanks to ASRock for having us, and we'll see you in another video very shortly.